So I have people all the time ask me, how did I learn so much about business management and finances? And I tell them all the time, it's because I read a lot of books. That, and I went to college for business management, but that's a different topic. Let's talk about some of my favorite books right now. Hey, what's going on guys? That 345 back here with another video. So in this video, we're going to talk about some of my favorite books to help me with my personal finances and how I got my business started. So we're going to talk about some of my personal favorite books and keep in mind, these are my personal favorite books. So your results may vary. What works for me might not work for you, but let's get into it. So for my first pick, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this because I know a lot of people hate these personal finance gurus because they think they're scammers. But this was personally my first book about personal finance I read and I enjoyed it. It's going to be Tony Robbins Money Master the Game. So the reason why I love this book is because not only does he talk about keeping your personal finance and your money together, he also talks about another important aspect that a lot of people neglect when talking about business management and personal finance is that you need to keep your mental in shape and you also need to keep your physical body in shape because what's the point of having all this money and being a business management if you're mentally psychotic and your physical body isn't in shape too I also like this book because he talks about and debunks a lot of lies and myths we were told by the older generation. You know that age old story of going to school, getting good grades, going to college, then finding a really good job, starting a 401k and in about 20 to 30 years, you'll be able to retire. Yeah, that's a lot of BS, which honestly is BS if you think about it. Think about your personal job situation right now. How many people do you work with that are 50, 60, and 70 who can't retire because their 401k ran out and they had to go back to work just to make ends meet? You'll also learn about the importance of saving while investing in compounding interest because that'll open out a lot of hidden money some of your parents in school definitely didn't teach you. So if I had to summarize this book, I'd say this book was made to more so inspire people to want more in life and being physically and mentally prepared to make the money that they want to make. This book gives examples and shows that no matter how broke or down low you may see, it's never too late to make a change towards growing yourself and your finances. I say read this book if you're broke and looking for a start, want the motivation to do better, and are new to finances. But like I said before, I might catch some flat from the money making community on this book because you know, a lot of people don't like them. But me personally, this book helped me a lot and really what got me started on this personal finance journey to want to become a business owner and start working for myself. But let's move on to the next book. And this next one is a heavy hitter. And for my next book, we have Warren Buffett and the Interpretation of Financial Systems. So this book is the first book I read on finances and who better to get the information from than the most notorious investor of all time, Warren Buffett. This book wasn't written by Warren Buffett, but more so about him and structured like an autobiography and interview with him. If you're into stocks or any type of other investing, this is a good deep dive into how America's infrastructure works when it comes to finances and business. This puts you into the mindset of Warren Buffett as he goes through things like research and development, how to do a balance sheet, all the expenses that go into in business, debt management, liabilities. I mean, everything is literally in this book. It's basically like taking a college course on business management and economics. Like I said before, this book is pretty advanced. So if you're a beginner, you probably want to read this book about two to three times to fully grasp what the information is telling. I'll say read this book if you're looking to start a business, invest in a business, want your business to look good to potential investors, or if you want to learn how to manage a business money, because this book will deep dive into all those subjects. This book is only about 190 pages, so if you're reading about 10 to 20 pages a day, it shouldn't take you no longer than two to three weeks to read. But like I said, it's a lot of information, so make sure to take your time with this one because you will not regret it, I promise you. So for my next pick, you guys are probably going to think this is pretty generic, but I actually like this book. And it's probably the most popular book on this list, and it's going to be Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. So this one is also a good read because the author talks about how he had two different father figures with two completely different mentalities on how life worked. One being Rich Dad who had the mentality of an entrepreneur who wanted his money to work for him and the other one being his actual father who he named in this book Poor Dad because even though he wasn't poor financially, he still had the mindset of working a dead end job until the day he died and eventually died in debt. 
giving him a poor mindset so this one talks about how being poor is a mindset and just because you're not rich if you cannot overcome the poor mindset you will not find the riches that you seek in life the book starts off by teaching you the difference between assets and liabilities pretty much saying the rich acquire assets and the poor and middle class go for liabilities that we think are assets it also goes over the importance of passive income and how a lot of people are using their jobs income to live life paycheck to paycheck instead of diversifying their income to generate rate multiple income streams another thing this book is good at teaching is how to stop complaining and making excuses for your downfalls and how to fight your fear of being broke and break the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck nobody wants to be a slave to their money and that's what this book's overall theme is so i'll say this book is a good read if you need help managing your personal finances diversifying your income learning how to make more money than you spend and generate wealth instead of being rich for honorable mention read this book trust me don't knock it until you try i know a lot of y'all are gonna trip because it's a four dummy series but they literally make it four dummies they literally break it down step by step interpretations definitions anything you need to know is in that book a lot of people sleep on those books but they have a lot of good and valuable information inside them also if you're not that into reading and you want to listen to some of the books i listed in this video there's a link down below to audiobook you can get a free trial and get two free audiobooks and you don't even have to keep the trial you can cancel it right after you get the audiobooks yeah that's all i got for you guys in this video make sure to like share and subscribe and let's talk about some of your favorite books in the comments down below maybe there's some books that i missed that i probably should check out leave them down in the comments below and i'll definitely make sure to make a part two if you guys list some good books see you guys in the next video peace All right, so I'm gonna try this one more time. Ready? Hey, there we go. Are you recording? Cut the camera. Hey, so it's Thad345 back here with another video. So you're probably wondering where I got this cool shirt from. Well, I got it from Thad345shop.com. So as you can see right here, we have all types of things. I have pillows, I have shirts, I have hoodies like these, all good quality shirts. If you don't see something on there and you want something on there, just let me know. I'll make it and put it on there. Anything, any design, anything. Shirts, tank tops, pillows, phone cases, mugs, everything. I got it. And if I don't got it, we can make it. So head over to that345gamingstore.com and buy something because I need to quit my job. I hate my fucking job. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.